How did you... Gods! You have a habit of turning up where you're least expected. But no less yeah. room for that. We've spotted goblins in the woods. What happened at their camp? There we go. Okay, fine. I guess he's doing this. You yeah, know, the goblins are coming. They're being led by a drow. I didn't expect it. We were almost ready to leave. Well, there's nothing for it now. A fight it will have to be. We threw them back once. If you're with us, Perhaps we can do it again. <laughs> I'm with them. All right, what do you need? Thin the goblin numbers quickly if we're to have any chance of survival. Every ounce of oil that we could spare has been buried out in front of the gate. We'll blow the horn to draw them in and pray our fire arrows strike true. Can't tell if this is a really good plan or an awful one. Yeah, that's an Asterian thing. Is catching, it seems. Or perhaps I've finally lost my reason. Make what preparations you deem necessary. And then sound the horn. Let's have this done. I'm with you, buddy. Let's get going. Okay. Everybody ready to dance? I want the option to wave at her. This is it. Everything turns on this. would take our lives, our children, our future, and we must resist! A splinter of ice works its way into your mind. A pretty speech. It almost brings a tear to my eye. Now slit his throat and open that gate. The Absolute wants all of them dead. No, this grove is under my protection. You think you can stand against me and the absolute? Well, I know you don't have your full force with you. Mostly because your priestess is dead and the uh the hobgoblin is still back at your camp. So So frankly, I'm not too terribly worried. Let's go with my favorite spell. <laughs> Just throwing. That's yeah, it's kind of funny. Quickly. 
Oh, there's a... Oh, they're throwing them up here and there are goblins in there. Oh, that's cute. I mean, he's dead, but that's cute. Eh, we'll pop that over there for now. Remove that. Get ready for a ranged attack. The blade will not bend. Coming through. Oh, let's go with a nice little crown of madness. <laughs> and his concentration is successful. I love Cloud of Daggers. <laughs> it worked! Oh, it worked exactly how I thought it would. That's not good. They got a hole in our on our wall. Uh, the range for this is surprisingly short. Good. Again. And the concentration on my... Okay. So I lose my concentration. Okay. I was curious how that spell worked. Can I use... <laughs> hey, how's it going, friends? Swift as my feet can carry me. I wish they were down there. But, you know, it, it works. Uh, who's up next? Starion? Yeah, give me a nice little little chomp chomp. Oh, come on, dude. There you go. Well. Let's get angry. Throw in a prepare to make her s hit even harder. Swing at both of them. Favors the fearless. Both of them almost died. Arms of Adar does 3 to 18 damage. We need 
almost have to do almost max damage. Um, eh, sure, let's give it a shot. Oh, I forgot it would also hit my guy. I forgot that move does not discriminate damage. Well, that's rude. Ow. Of oh, he's on the ground and they still they're missing. Okay, what are we gonna do now? Need to find a way forward. I'm very upset that missed. Go cunning action disengage. Me, damn you. Oh, I was hoping that would cause his thing to explode. I think Asterion is going to be in trouble. I I think Will's dead. I mean, okay. There it goes. Wait a minute, why are you guys against us? What? Why are you... What? Oh, it's because... Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna pull back there. Because now I know... To be careful with the, uh... Be careful with the ogres. <laughs> because they will cause the my allies to hate me if they kind of blow everyone up. It's okay. It's okay. We're learning. We're learning. Oh, I also noticed that the um the blessing from the from look, it's not Lavatar. That's a that's a Pokémon. Leviathar. 
Yeah. I still have I, I still have it. How did you gods? You have a habit of turning up where you're least expected. We've spotted goblin. You led the drow here by the nine hells. Why? Um, trust me, this is... Trust me, she thinks we're on the same side. Help but feel that we are the one. But, the horn. If you seek to draw her in, that damned thing's loud as thunder. It'll give our people a chance to take... Your c make what preparation... Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Holding up all right? I'm fine. We don't have to keep checking. It's this or city and waiting. I'll be back. Blah 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 blah. Now slit his throat. Yeah, I'm with them. I'm against you. That's the whole thing. I was playing a trick on you, and you thought I was on your side. Ha ha ha. the hell do I have the highest initiative of our side? How'd that happen? Breathe deep and move. Hit him with a big old cloud of daggers. I think he's blocked in. He can't get to the... Excuse me. As I was about to say, he's blocked in. He can't get to the barrels filled with goblins. Okay. I guess he's not going to do anything. They're just going to stand there. Oh, Asterian, move over there if you would. Be a mensch. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Don't hamstring shut. Sneak attack ranged. For some reason, you don't have... Advantage? You should have advantage because you're higher... Well, that's no fun. Fine, do a normal ranged attack. 7 to 12, or I can go all in. And completely miss. Um... Spider... Oh, no, never mind. The spider is dead. I was about to say something about you, and then I realized it's dead. Uh, move animal friendship. Move that radial. Sorry, this video is going to go long, but I wanted to get this fight in. Uh, who to shoot? Eh, they're really far. 42%. There we go. Fleet of foot. For the love of God. Um. What happened? Oh, okay. I see what happened. If you want, I can give you my... I can I can tell you in a second. Uh, I think my Cloud of Daggers killed the... Uh, 
What was I about to say? Uh, my cloud of daggers ended up killing the um, the sapper. And when the sapper dies, the um, if I can think of what, what to call it, when the sapper dies, try me. Uh, the explosive goes off. So essentially, the sapper died. The explosive went off and killed a bunch of gabos. I think he's just happy to be out of that, uh, out of the cloud. Oh, hey, he threw. Sh he th bleh, 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 bleh. I can't talk. He threw stuff at us. Still can't. Uh, don't have advantage. Okay, buddy, take out the brute for us if you would. Thirteen. Thirteen damage. Oh, what to do now? Hmm, who to hit? Let's try and let's try and get that ogre out of there. Oh, okay, I was like. Did it miss? Uh, what, what's going on here? Gotta love Cloud of Daggers. I tried. Tried to help you, buddy. to press ahead. Good. Again. Ah, cool. I get the kill. Oh, god damn it. We stopped getting hit by stuff. Let's go up to the Booyag. And Carlock. Awesome. Nice hit. Now, get away and cry a little bit. Good job, Will. A whopping three damage. But he got the kill, so, you know. Whatever works. Should just be the little generic guys. I like the way they run. It just makes me smile. That's all I need. Oh, she stopped exactly where I wanted her to.
Hmm, what to do, what to do. Do we want an Eldritch Blast? I think we want an Eldritch Blast. Stop throwing things. Give him a little hellish rebuke. <laughs> so close to a kill. Okay, uh... Hit that up, give everybody rallied. Pop a healing potion just to get yourself... Respectable with health. Eh, shatter would be cool. That didn't do what I wanted it to. Uh huh. I think that's both the spell slots. Yeah, I'd run away from that guy just because I don't want the. I wouldn't want that blowing up in my face. Oh, boo. I did all that damage against you. Now you're just going to do that? All right, fine. Cloud of daggers. Run into the cloud. Yes! God, you gotta love stupid enemies. And down that one goes. That's nice. Get some damage in there. Yeah, Carlock, get away from that because we're going to try and make that guy explode. Except it won't work. This is my time. Probably going to take a rest or something. Well, nah, I might swap up the part. I don't know what I'm going to do after this fight. I mean, definitely a short rest, but all my, uh... Can't think what to call it. Ooh! I've lost all my uh, bardic inspiration. There we go. Found the words. Can you stop walking into acid? Thirteen damage. Not enough. And he's. Oh, he's still alive. Huh. If I'm being honest, I didn't think that would uh, he'd be alive there. Come on.
Nice. Oh, we got to be careful. Eh, I got to concentrate. Wait. Oh, she's knocked out. Oh, okay, that works. Well, that had to hurt. Up. Well, okay. Sometimes crap just works out. I'm not looking forward to this explosion. Never mind. On my way. Okay, if stuff's not going to explode. One health point. What? I need your help. Why? Zevlar. You hurt probably the nicest character in this game. What's that say about everyone in this game that the nicest character is the barbarian? Battle favors the fearless. No time to waste. These boots have seen everything. Okay. I've missed this. All things considered, we've I think this has been a pretty good fight. Okay, come on. There you go, buddy. Thirteen damage, so close to the kill. Not quite. No surrender. Uh, we got a twenty-five. Go for the fifty. And, the victor's and couldn't hit either. Fleet of foot. Go with an Eldritch. Can't hit him. Can't hit anyone. Game taking away all the fun. As I make you feel, the last blow was <laughs> was vicious mockery. That's, that's the last of them. Timora, smile on me. They're dead. We did it. Watching gods, you did it. They name us outcasts. Hellspawn. Foul blood. But the blood of those who fell today ran as pure as any heroes. So I call us by another name. We are survivors. We are family. The road to Baldur's Gate is a long one yet, but you have earned every stride so far. Make your preparations. We leave as soon as we're able. You. I don't know if you were sent here by gods, or fate, or sheer bloody luck. I like the last one. I don't care. 
You were a friend when we needed it. And we won't forget that. Should you ever need it, you have family in Baldur's Gate. But we need not speak of departures just yet. We have time. The road is clear. And I, for one, could use a bloody drink. We'll join your camp tonight, if you'll have us. What? You show up now? But He'll have some he, hard work. What? For Korger, I expect. Go, speak to him. You're the reason he has a grove to return to at all. We'll be here when you're ready to travel. He shows up now? So, what do we do about the unconscious, uh, drow? She's naked now, because I took all her all her clothes. If anybody's gonna ask AJ, did you do that to make her naked? No, actually I did that so I could take her items. Could she have been a companion if we were evil? What's her mace? One to six bludgeoning damage. Eh, fairy fire if you miss attack against it. Okay. Eh, it's not a great weapon, but not awful. Those will be our at Eve's clothes. Oh, yeah. That's right. Uh, put on tasteful boots. Anything else that was good? Oh yeah, what's her... Uh... <whistles> Not bad. Plus one to stealth checks. Uh, well, I know who's going to be putting that on. Oh yeah. Uh, is it even worth going and searching all the bodies? I mean, we get a whole bunch of garbage, but at the end of the day, that's all it'll be. It'll just be a whole bunch of garbage. Just a whole bunch of stuff to sell. Still alive. Still alive. Thank you. Hey, I did my best. Eldrell didn't want us. And those druids sure as hell didn't either. But you... You risked your life for us. I know this video's already gone on super long, but... It's already been long, so eh, why the hell not? Let's keep, uh... Let's keep going. We made it somehow. Now we just need to get to Baldur's Gate. You know what? Before I forget... There we go. Make sure I can talk to animals. We didn't die today. Tomorrow. Well, that's kind of All that sad. Fast and for what? I barely call that a fight. Uh huh. I didn't. I didn't see you down there, asshole. Let's see, so we're going to go talk to the druids and watch Halzen give Kaga a nice kick in the ass. A pity you don't see that. I thought I had been a good teacher to you. You took it upon yourself to undertake the right of thorns. I ought to exile you from this place forever. Instead... I shall listen to the explanation that you owe me. I owe you nothing. 
goblins swarmed us like roaches while you stumbled after the past. You chose to abandon us. I chose to protect us. Silence! The right has been ended. I will allow you to stay, but consider yourself a novice anew. You have forgotten the ways of the druids, our place in the natural order. You shall learn it all once again, right here. Backslide, and nature's fury will crush you. As you wish, Master Halson. Is it Halson? I've been calling him Halson. <laughs> you should turn her over to my kin for judgment. Eh, I'm not really a tiefling at the end of the day. I'm not. Well, I'm playing as a tiefling, but I don't have some like major connection to the tiefling. Yeah, you'll have her hands full with her. She shows great spirit, to put it mildly. She shows great insolence, but time will humble her, and the grove still needs her. You will soon see why. But enough of that for now. I owe you my thanks. The grove stands. Nature prevails. And again, I am in your debt. Speak to Wrath. He will reward you for your efforts. Uh, yeah, what happens the next? journey to Moonrise Towers. And all the dangers that that entails. But that's tomorrow's problem. Take some time for yourself tonight. Rest. Celebrate. Come morning, I'll be by your side. Okay. Nice of him. So, who's this guy that's supposed to reward us? No. No. Look, as long as Kaga doesn't use that scary sneak on us, I'm good. You brought House in back. Thank you. No, thanks is not enough. May Sylvanus bless you for all your days. I cannot imagine taking on a camp full of goblins was a simple task. I'm really just here for my reward. Of course. It is well earned. Kind of why I did it. You on your map where you can find the cash. Take this rune. You'll need it. Place it among the pedestals inside our library. When the wolf glows brightest, everything in the vault below will be yours. Are you kidding me? Come, Silver. Here. Are you kidding me? I already stole all that stuff. <laughs> I was certain your parasite. I'm glad I was wrong. Thank you for saving Master Halson. For saving my home. For everything. Uh, rewards you better. Coin, you're out of luck. I'm a healer, but here. To mend any well, I mean, I'm not looking for a loan. I'm looking for payment. I have to tidy this place. Okay. Thank you for the apple. There's a parasite nearby. You should take a closer look. I'm taking that. Alrighty then, favorable beginning, sacrifice health. Oh, I could go for a good meal. What am I needed? Someone there. Okay. Um. So it's interesting. You actually have to convince them to use the. To do. I hadn't. It gave me another gift too, just like it did the first time it appeared. Rather generous, 
If you ask me. Mm, whatever at the heart of this cult, we have to find it by any means possible. And while we're at it, we can see how many more of these little worms we can harvest. Now, was there anything else? See, I'm kind of on his side right now. We might as well use them while we can. Another visit from the Golden Paladin. It said we'll get the answers we need about the tadpole if we infiltrate the cult. Yeah, then let's do just that. Okay, so we can't convince her here. I had another dream last night. The visitor came to me and ordered me to penetrate the heart of the very cult that's spreading the infection. It gave me a tadpole gift too. Just like it did the first time it appeared. I suppose it hoped this would help. At first, I thought we should avoid these gifts no matter what advantage we gain. And yet, I can't help recall the words of my father. The best plan is the one that works. These powers could be enough to edge us towards victory. Yeah, I'm kind of do well to walk around it. Use these powers sparingly. Exactly. If you must use them at all. I'm not against using them to give us a leg up, but at the same time I think we need to be careful. This place is trapped. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this will, this just leads us right back to the to the place that we've already uh, already been, which frustrates me a little bit. It's like we did all of that just to find out. Oh yeah, hey, by the way, you already looted the place that has your reward. So. Technically, you were paid in advance. Oh my god, they gave us the damn... The damn thing, if I could find it. Okay. I thought this thing opened that door. But I guess not. Toxins, antidotes, healing potions. Ooh. So why does touching it give me a knot in my stomach? I have questions. So, robe of Summer grants resistance to cold damage. It's not bad. What's this glaive do? Ooh, give sorrowful lash. D10 slashing, that's not bad. Where am I needed? Uh Dark One's blessing. Resistances notable. I'm trying to see if there's a reason not to give him because I know he can use them. I've played around with it in the past. I think we're going to give him the glaive. 
Gives him extra reach. He gets a... I mean, really, these gloves are just fancy. That's all they are. Um, yeah, I think I'll give him the glaive for now. See how I like it. Maybe it'll let him do a little bit more damage. Plus, it gives him a little bit of a more versatility. Gives him a uh, that spell. It, it, it's a druid spell. Oh, I'm trying to remember exactly what it does. I believe it is a push or pull, whichever one you want. So it's going to give us some, uh, some additional use against enemies. Let's head to camp. Let's let's do our celebration party. It's really kind of why I kept this one going is because I wanted to start that. It looks like Volo wants to talk to us. Ah, my good fellow, quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. My tail is clipping through that, through the bed. My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. It's not too deep, just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. <laughs> I know, so many people are probably going to ask me, are you really going to let him do it? I assure you, I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Vola do it. Vola holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. Through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a harp string. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. Volo carefully. Yeah, exactly. The obstacle in the way is my eye. Reaching into his bag. <laughs> Volo slowly brings the ice pick closer to your eye. Now, don't move. Cold metal presses against the skin beneath your brow. And then, tap, tap, stab. Oh. Do you feel that? Ha! I think we have the blighter on the run. Do you feel that? The thing that is inside your eyeball? I agree. It's a feisty critter. Just a little further. Volo tears the pick from your brain with a violent jerk. Your eye plops down into the mud. Tret. He pulls, <laughs> looks down at your eye and recoils slightly. As it sinks into the mud. There appears to be an amount of cosmetic damage. You knocked my bloody eye out. Exert yourself. You're in a rather fragile state at present. Yeah, it happens you when you have your eye knocked out. Partly. There is something more I can do. T 
Take this. A far superior relic to that old jelly you were chained to. And this is why I did it. And, um, it was very nice to have met you. I'm I hate sure you. You'll sort out your you little, little weirdo. One way or another. Far away from here, if you've a heart. Terribly sorry, my friend. Ta. <laughs> oh, Volo. Do I have the item? Uh, but there was an advantage to that, because if you notice, I now have C invisibility. Because of the, uh, the fake eye he gave me. Another dream. It announced that we will find the answers we seek in the Absolute Cultist's lair, and offered another generous gift. A persuasive creature. It tempts us with power, expresses its admiration, its adoration. Avert your eyes whenever it appears, and do not avail yourself of this new power, no matter how alluring. You've no idea what damage it could do to us, how far into illithid madness it could drag us. I mean, yeah, frankly, we could use it to manipulate the cultists. I'm not saying we completely uh, go whole hog into it, but it's got its uses. The one with swords, not mind games born of brain worms. The ones we fight with these cultists will be no different. And there will come a battle. Of that I'm most certain. The one truth that fell out of the dream figure's cankered lips. I mean, cankered. I mean, the dream figure's pretty hot. Just saying. Mark my... You might as well ask me to consume all the gate tadpoles you wish. I'm not... Gotta take another crack at this. Come on, baby. Guy, keep rolling sixes. Let's try one more. Come on. Feeling lucky. I think we... Can. Holy shit, we got it. Perhaps you... No... That's absurd. When the tadpole has stretched to every pore and slithered through every vein, what am I to do then? It won't hear my screams. It won't care if I beg. I will be remade in its image. My faith in Vlakith will guide me, and my own might will sustain me. I have no need of this depraved power. You are no good, your queen dead. Tapple's benefits. Uh, this cult of the absolute. I mean, yeah, let's let's appeal to her. Want to fight for her god? You, you might be right. The Githyanki have long studied Geich and used what we've learned. The Zathisk itself was devised from such knowledge. The tadpole is perhaps not just a curse, but a weapon I can twist and mold to my advantage. Very well. I will swallow my disgust and avail myself of the parasite's powers. We did it. It is a certainty. I had assumed our parasite served a geich elder. But I believe they serve a greater master still. Yeah, who or what could that be? A question that burns in my belly day and night. Elders and collectives abide by their own tenets. It would require a powerful creed to unite them. And now this voice, this creed, finds our own ears. If it reaches this plane, it may reach others. Okay, let's make the rounds. Welcome to the league. Not to minimize the pain of Volo's poking and prodding, but I promise you'll be used to the prosthesis in no time. Besides, I find it gives one an air of mystique. No one's more intriguing than a man with one eye. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. Welcome to the Having Horns Club. I've been dreaming of our enigmatic visitor again. She told me our purpose was to take on this cult of the Absolute, to infiltrate its ranks and bring it down from the inside. She even offered me greater powers. The result of some manipulation of the tadpole's psionic abilities. Given the magnitude of what we're up against, I see no harm in considering the benefit this offer might afford us. Could be the only way to reach this source in one piece. I suppose you're right. We still see only a part of the picture, however much our visitor claims to show the full vista of options at our disposal. I can't deny my curiosity, but, as you say, no harm in delaying it, for now at least. If you're wondering why, I, it, why it seems like I keep going back and forth over the, um... over the tadpole, not really. My, my thought process is... I, keep biting my tongue my thought process on it is that hey we can use the power we can make use of it but we shouldn't rely on it because i really don't trust where all this is going fate dost thou require a new ally nope i'm good hey soldier and again, can only talk about the stuff with her, but we have to take out those paladins. Darling, I was just thinking about you. Thank Remember you. Time together, the things we've shared. <laughs> and I don't just mean that lovely neck of yours. Talking about all the murder? Growing to like the whole package. Honestly. And you clearly like me too. So... <laughs> Just attractive. Take the blood loss. So what? Don't be coy. Your body's already given you away. I could feel it. As I was getting lost in your neck. Your little shakes of excitement. You enjoyed it. Didn't you? Ow. Dropped my phone on my foot. I mean, frankly, I only did it to help you get stronger. Well, it worked. <laughs> I've never felt better. All thanks to you. So, let me repay you your noble sacrifice. We could take an evening to ourselves, get away from camp, get some privacy. I know somewhere quiet, somewhere intimate, somewhere we can... Indulge in each other. Hmm. My initial thought is I'm not into dudes, but also I am playing a bard. So. Thank goodness we're all such good, trusting friends then. And plus, I love Asterion. Platonically, but I still love him. Is depraved carnal lust. <laughs> ah, sure. I just hope we don't have to wait too long before we can steal away. But once we can, I promise you a night you'll never forget. See you there, lover. I I can't I can't say no to him. There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. Well, I'm intrigued. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. 
As long as I pray to Lady Shah, I wish to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a dark justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother, Mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... Inscrutable. That was a load of nothing. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't understand. Why so secret about such an ambition? Dark Justicias are hated by many. Judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicia in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. I mean, do you think she'll relent? I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate. Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. But for this, I hope my time will yet come. Well, thanks for sharing. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. Okay, what do you think about what happened to the Grove? Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. Cast aside some... Okay, so I think when we venture out again, we'll switch up the party... Um, I didn't mean to grab that. There we go. I love how Carlock is a teddy bear. He's named Clive. <laughs> 